let us come back and do one more oxidizing property. What did we learn? We said whenever it's going to react with sulfuric acid that is concentrated, it's going to form important uh, things. One is potassium sulfate, chromium sulfate and water as well as oxygen is liberated. That is what you are going to uh, learn, right? So now whenever in the exam, if they give you oxidizing property, remember important compounds. First, the basic things are same, but only thing you have to remember what to oxidize to what. Now suppose if I am going to take K2Cr2O7, we very well know sulfuric acid is compulsory because it is acting as an oxidizing agent. Now important, I have to convert or this potassium dichromate has to oxidize pota potassium iodide to iodine. Okay, now they are going to give you like this or they may just take out this potassium and write like this, not a problem. So now I am taking potassium iodide. Done. Okay, let me write that also so that it's not confusing. Let me write this one. Here, <clears throat> I am again going to take K2Cr2O7. I am going to take sulfuric acid concentrated that is undisturbed plus. Here, what is my task? My task is to convert. What is this Fe plus 2? Yes, ferrous. What is Fe plus 3? Ferric. Right? Fe plus 2 is ferrous. Fe plus 3 is ferric. Now I have to convert ferrous salt to ferric salt, oxidize, right? Now ferrous salt, FeSO4, ferrous sulfate or in the exam it may be given as Fe plus 2. Done, not a problem. Let us see. Both the products are same, only difference lies here and here. Where? This one. So let us write for common thing, first common thing. First you will get potassium sulfate, okay. K2SO4. Here also you will get K2SO4. Next, you will get Cr, okay, chromium sulfate. Again, same thing, sulfate valency 2, chromium valency 3. Here also same story, Cr, SO4, chromium valence, sulfate valency 2, chromium valency 3. Same products, isn't it? Yeah. Now, next important thing. Here you are going to get, now this is over, a part is over. Third important thing, water. Here also, we have shown already in the earlier reaction, water. Here lies the difference. Here I said potassium iodide is getting oxidized to iodine. How? Here it is minus one charge. Here it is becoming zero. Done? Yes. <coughs> Here FeSO4 plus two. So it's going to get converted or oxidized to higher oxidation state that is ferric now this is ferrous sulfate right so ferrous sulfate now ferrous sulfate will become ferric sulfate how to write ferric sulfate now ferric sulfate right now ferric valency the charge is plus 3 now write sulfate fe and so4 write like this put brackets sulfate valency is 2 iron now iron is which state this is ferric state ferric no 3 so ferric means 3 Ferrous means 2. So ferric sulfate, ferrous sulfate. It is my plus 2 minus 2. Here sulfate is 2, iron is 3. So ferric sulfate. So this is your reaction. Only thing left is balancing the reactions. So after balancing your com complete oxidizing property, concentrate on this iodide to iodine. Ferrous to ferric.